News' Melanie Palmer joins us now with the very latest. Melanie? We're learning more about this fatal crash at the Cherokee County Sheriff Steve Mueller says all started in Cleveland County, North Carolina. That's where he says officers noticed a driver that had a handful of outstanding felony warrants. He tells us from there that's when a chase began, making its way down here to Cherokee County between downtown Gaffney, even the interstates, ultimately ending on Buford Street near Camellia Circle, right by a park in this Gaffney area. He says that the driver was going high rates of speed before crashing. The sheriff also tells us that there was a woman in the passenger seat. Both she and the driver are dead. Our officers were not directly behind him. They were probably 12 to 15 seconds behind him. In fact, when he wrecked here at the Camilla uh, Drive intersection, Camilla Circle intersection, all the officers that were behind the, uh, the fleeing vehicle that actually kept going straight. They didn't even see him wreck. A lot of police is coming through West Bruford Street past Kennedy Street. The next thing we know, we heard them turn around, full blast flying, state troopers, the city police, and the ambulance. Sheriff Mueller says nobody else was hurt when this crash happened, but if you take a look over here at Buford Street, you can see that Highway Patrol is still here. A good chunk of this street by Camellia Circle is still closed off. It's expected to stay that way far into tonight as they further investigate what happened and put all those pieces together. Reporting live in Gaffney, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. Melanie,